Hi, I'm back. Okay, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And we've been working through the book and uh, doing lots of fun stuff. That's going to be something upcoming. I've just started a little bit. This is what I want to show you today. The Pink Flamingo. Now, I saw one once that wasn't quite pink but had orange undertones. So that's what I'm going to try to achieve here. Get all set up here straight. So the colors I'm using are actually Sizzling Sunset. These are Crayola. And then Coral Reef. And then one of my favorite pencils. See how it's getting shorter and shorter all the time red orange. I love a good red orange or orange red because it's a good in-between. So I am going to put these in order light to dark and we're going to flip to a flamingo and get started. These are really very easy. So my lightest shade, that sizzling sunset, I'm going to start with that first. Let's see, can we go? Yes, a little bit bigger. I'm going to get this Sizzling Sunset all over to get us started. Trust everybody had a safe 4th of July holiday for you in the U.S. I was just checking to make sure I had my clear plastic. You know, always put something behind your page so that you're not really indenting into the next page. It'll just save your book and make it easier to color in the long run. Something I forgot to mention last time the blues that I used for her hair ribbon, the trims, the bow, and her stockings are the same blues that I used for her eyes. So, yeah, I don't know why I just forgot to mention that. Now, I don't have to go all the way over on that part because that's where I'm going to introduce another color. And can you see this right here? It almost looks like a backwards Y. It's from the writing off of a page next to it from where it was folded over and it picked it up. I guess what I really need to do is start coloring with two sheets of something between my pages instead of just one piece of the clear plastic. I may have to dig out paper to put between the following two sheets so that I can actually start protecting the pages even better because I should have erased that but I didn't see it well you know what let's try let's see if it'll still erase yeah it's still there some to me but not as badly as it was so, yeah, if you get any of that writing from the pages folding over, and see, I see it going across here. Can you see that? That's as big as it'll let me go. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase that now so I don't forget to do that later. All right. I'm going to have to go a little bit smaller so I can get those legs in. There we go, I think. If I hold it just like that and don't move it. <laughs> do what we got to do, right? I've been getting some good feedback. Thank y'all. Um, yeah, we've been just dealing a lot here lately. I don't use this on that, I don't think. Um, I'm going to go the second color, and that's where I'm going to come in with this. We've been dealing just with aging parents, and it's had me on an emotional roller coaster. 
but tests are being done and you know we're just kind of settling into things so I am feeling a little bit better about life in general I think but some of y'all were really quite encouraging over the past few weeks and we're not through things by any means but kind of settling into a new normal maybe Okay, so I took the second color and did that part of the legs. And then also the second color, which is the coral reef. I'm going to come in here and do the beak. Now, to be honest with you, pink flamingo does not have a pink beak. It's got black in it. And then it does have some pink or red. I have forgotten. I looked at a photo for a while first, but I haven't looked at it in a couple days. But anyway, um, I just decided that I was going to change it up some. And you're going to see me in future episodes on YouTube as we do the Queen that I'm going to change up her outfit to. I said before, you know, you can always look at the colored photos in the front of this book and see the colors that the storybook is actually done in. Because this is taken from a full color storybook. But I'm changing up her outfit just because I thought it would be fun. So now I'm doing underneath the edge. So that'll pop this up a little. Okay, underneath that edge. Underneath this one and this one. I'm going to do some through here. In between the fingers. Trying to keep my hand out of the way of the camera. Oh, I am doing it. Good. Yeah, I'm on the tablet because I seem to have better luck doing videos with it than with my phone. But then you end up with this black space down both sides. And I've yet to figure that out. So... You know, short of getting some sort of a nice camera to do all this, which I won't be doing. I don't get paid to do this. Every now and then, somebody will throw a donation my way. If you want to donate, there's, if you slide across on your phone across the top, there's a spot over there that says, I think, more or about. And then if you click that, now I'm using that red-orange, then um, there will be a place where you can make no donations if you'd like to. But no, I do all this for free. So, buy my own colored pencils from Crayola. I gotta say, though, these have been some good pencils. So anyway... There's, that's really all I'm going to do on the legs here. Actually, let's go down here just a bit. Just because it's hanging down, it might would be a little bit darker. But now where I want to tie in is all these little bits. So I'm going to look at my triangles. You know how I just look those V's. This is where we really let this start to take shape. Really let it get in full, full color. More three-dimensional. Just not so flat looking. And again, if you wanted, there's no coloring police. You could take off and just color your flamingo pink and go on down the road. I just happen to like getting in here 
and adding a little bit of depth to the picture. I have been doing diamond dots. I got sucked in. <laughs> but it's it's been fun. I'm going to try to do some to sell. We'll see how that works. Um, I'm not painting nearly as much as I used to. So my source of income there has just dwindled to almost nothing. In Texas, we're out of face masks from COVID. There's um, vaccine readily available to everyone. So not making money off masks anymore. Anybody needs masks, I've got them for like two bucks a piece. Just trying to cover my costs. But most people are not needing them like we did before. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to do some diamond dots and sell those if anybody's interested. I've done a Tinkerbell. I've done some birds. I'm working on a lighthouse. Um, I've done a rose. And then I'm going to go back to my lightest shade and just blend here just a little bit. But anyway, yeah, so if that interests you, just leave me comments. I'll find a way to post you some pictures. All right, and that takes care of our pink flamingo. All right, so let me zoom you back out. Let's go back over. There's that one. Now see on this one there was more darks. There was more dark areas through here and down under here. So I just went darker. And then I also went darker. You'll see right under here because this one is on top and leaving a shadow. This one's on top, leaving a shadow over this one. Okay? But anyway, so that's it for this time. Yeah, um, I'm going to do some work on the uh, Queen's outfit. Here, you can see I'm working. And then I'll come over and do this one and um, follow along. If you want to get started on her, I've actually started using the red orange and the red and the maroon. And I've started just everything light here and then around the outsides and in these little V's getting darker. So, but anyway, Another three or four days, I'll pop up another video of hopefully that, and um, we'll see where we go from there. All right, I will talk to you all later. Bye.